Hey guys, it's Vesper, and I'm here with um, Aspen and Sylvie. And I'm not sure what versions these are. I think this one is the older one, but um, I I saw like two new versions online. There's like, well, there's the lighter one, which is new, new, and then the darker one. So I'm not really sure if anybody knows what versions these are. I think this one's the older one. But it has a lighter nose and lighter ears. And this one's definitely a little darker, so I don't know. And the hair is different. But, um, yeah, anyway, this isn't what the video is about. I just have a small haul to show you guys. Um, I'm sorry I really haven't been making videos. I've, I haven't really been buying that much stuff. Because, um... We, we are planning on moving maybe the end of this year, so I'm just, I'm just kind of slowing down and doing stuff, so, um, but, um, I do have a couple things to show you, and one of them is this really cool fox shirt I got at, um, Target, and I just love it, it's so cute, and it's made by... Fifth Sun. It's really awesome. And I got these My Little Ponies, which I already have. Rainbow Dash. I think I have a rarity already. I don't know. But these are like all the rainbow versions, which if you guys watch the last episode of this season you guys will understand why they're doing these rainbow colors so go watch it it's really awesome but there's rarity dr hooves applejack dj pwn and twilight sparkle princess but i thought it was really cool and this is brand new so very awesome. I think I got it at Walmart. Yeah. Um, I also got an address book because I'm still using my my wedding addresses, like just from like a piece of paper. So this will really come in handy, and I can put phone numbers and everything and whatever. So, I wish they actually made nicer ones. That, this one's kind of cheap. It's like a notebook, which is stupid. I kind of want one with like a leather cover to it, but I don't know. This was cheap, and it's just easy. Also, I went to the post office, and I did send my friend Kyrie's package. Me and her are doing a trade. So I hope that um, your package gets to you and you have your customs form number. So I I just can't wait to do this trade. It's going to be really, really fun. But um, I did get these stamps from the post office. I thought they were really cool. I like the birds. They're really awesome. So I'm happy to have these so I can send letters and stuff. I don't know. Stamps are really expensive. I don't know why. Also, I got a pony from Toys R Us. It's another mystery pony. And I got Dr. Hooves. He's so cool. And actually, my husband picked out two boxes and I got two of these. So, my other one is up for sale if anybody wants it. It's going to be like probably seven bucks. So, just let me know. But that's pretty much, that's what I paid for him. He was like seven bucks. So, I'll just sell him for seven bucks. And it just depends where you live. I mean, I might just do United States on these but um if you are from a different country just let me know and i'll try to figure it out i don't know how much shipping i think shipping would be more so 
yeah, I have an extra if anybody's interested. And there's the box. So, I already have Bon Bon and DJ Pone and Dr. Hooves and Pinkie Pie and Octavia. So, I really want Rainbow Dash and Spitfire and uh, Fluttershy and Derpy, of course. So, I don't know. I've been pretty lucky so far, except for having two of these, but maybe I'll sell it. But yeah, that's that for the pony stuff. And I got... We went to Target, and we got some stuff. Well, that's when I got this shirt. And then I got my husband this um, toothless plush. He's so cute. He doesn't make any noise. But, um, I like the design they did on him. And you can tell he's, like, cheaply made because he's made out of felt right here. But, um, he's really cute. And my husband likes him, so. And this is for How to Train Your Dragon 2, the new movie. So, um, yeah. And they're also making a Build-A-Bear. So you guys look out for that. I'm definitely getting it. And here's all the the ones that are there's Stormfly, Toothless, Skull Crusher, and Gronkle. This one I think is a new one for the the new movie. So it'll be interesting to see what that looks like in the movie. So can't wait for this movie to come out. I'm so excited. And this plush is really adorable. I like his, his body, and they really captured his body very well. He's so amazing. So, yeah. So cute. And now for anniversary gifts. I got this really cool plaque from my um, father and mother and father-in-law, and it's so amazing. And I think that there is going to be another piece to it, because they're sending something else. So, um, our anniversary is April 25th, but that was the day that we signed the marriage papers. And June 23rd is our actual wedding day. So, technically, we kind of have two anniversaries, I guess. So, um, we got this. And it hangs up right there. But it's kind of heavy, so I might just have to put um, those sticky things on the back of it and put it up on the wall like that. The command strips. But uh, it's, it's really cool, and I like it. So, yeah. I also got this really cute fox. Oh. And he's made by... Aurora, Myoni, and I got him from Hallmark. He's so amazing, and his his nose is really long. I think that there is older versions of this that have a shorter nose. I'm not sure if I like the really long nose, but it does make it look more like a fox. And this is um, the 10.5 inch one. There's also a 16 inch one that I kind of want to get, but this one was the only one that was at Hallmark. I don't think that they have the big one at Hallmark. They also had like a moose and some other animals that are new that are there. This isn't new. This has been out for a while. I don't think the back is all in Chinese or something. Um, I think this came out like two years ago, maybe. I don't know. But it, it finally made its way to Hallmark, so if you guys have a Hallmark near you, then go pick one up. It's really cute. And this is Hepty. My husband named him. So, that's Hepty. I also have the Wolf and the Husky. Um, also, my husband got me this. 
It's a he's a Douglas. He's a blue tick coonhound. He's got like plastic on him. He's so cute. He's a cohair, which the the fabric is like curly looking. And um, I don't know. I don't really know any information on this. Um, I really actually didn't expect to get it, but, um, here's this tag. And I don't even know his name. If anybody knows his name, let me know. But, um, I did name him Dooley. I thought that was cute. Um, it's also named... There's a Douglas Dalmatian named Dooley, so I just used that name. I thought it was cute. So he's really adorable, and I really do recommend him. But he is kind of rare, so. But he's like 8 inches from nose to butt, and probably like 12 inches with his tail. But um, that's Dooley. He's really cute. So that is my anniversary stuff. And I got a really awesome package in the mail. Gordy, come here. Down. There's Gordy. And there's my big husky. This is... Um, a Miller, look at how big he is. He's even bigger than Gordy. This is a um, Miller Husky made by Douglas. So he's trying to play with it. Um, but this was made for Purina for um, veterinarians. They actually use this as a teaching aid to teach vets um, about, like, health and, and what dogs are supposed to look like when they're healthy. And, um, she's heavy. But if you can see, she has ribs. So they can feel what the ribs feel like. And they can tell you how healthy it is, or whatever. I don't know. Because, you know, dogs, when they're healthy, you can you can kind of feel and see their ribs a little bit. But they have, like, fat over them. So it's just a little... Here's a tag. Ribbed teaching aid. Okay, get... You're, like, licking it. Yeah, so it's just teaching, like, what's a good weight for your dog. Like, Gordy's a good weight. You can't really see his ribs, but you can see, like, how his waist goes upward. And he, he still has a waist. Like, right here. And usually fat dogs, their waist is going to be just straight. It's not, it doesn't curve in. So, he's actually a little bit overweight right now. He's, he's 14 pounds and he should be 12, but, um, all in all, he's, he's pretty healthy. He just needs to cut back on the treats, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and she, she was really fat when we got her. She was like 13 pounds and now she's eight, which is really good. She's a really good weight, so... Yeah, but this just teaches vets what a good weight is, and she's really fluffy. She has really fluffy ears, and she's really soft, and this plush is brand new, and it actually was said that it's not supposed to be a toy for kids, just because it has hard stuff inside of it, but um, she's really amazing. Yep, and this is Miller. And I used to have Miller, and he was really used, and he wasn't even fluffy anymore. 
and I did get him off of eBay for like 20 bucks. Oh, he has a, she has a scratched eye. And then I sold it for like a hundred. So this plush is really expensive and I only got it for like 60 bucks. But um, I renamed her, I named her Fizzy. I thought that was cute. And she's like the happiest husky I've ever seen. Like for a plush. So she's really amazing. I think they also made a darker version of this husky too. But I'm not sure. They even did like the tear ducts. That's cool. But um, yep. I don't know how many of these that they've they've made that are for um Purina, but I think this is just an amazing plush and if you guys do find it I definitely recommend it. Even if you do find a Miller. I mean, Miller is really expensive now. So this was a really good deal. So um, I'm really happy to get her. So that is Fizzy. And even my old one, like the tail, it just like flopped down and back. It didn't even flop over like that anymore. Because it didn't have any stuffing in it. So I'm happy... I'm happy to have Miller back, actually. So, it's a really amazing plush, and it's even better that it was, that it, the potential for it to be used in teaching vets and everything. So, I'm happy to have it. So, yep, that is my haul for you guys. Um, I will try to make another video. I have one package coming, so maybe I'll make a video of that when that comes. But, um, that's pretty much it. So, and, oh... I got a new phone too and I'm using my old phone just because I want to show you guys my new phone which will probably be I'll be having better videos now because this is a better quality phone this is the Galaxy um, Samsung Galaxy S5 this is the new one and there's my home screen and you just slide you could see the wolf on there but it's a it's a really amazing phone and I'm really happy with it so yeah so I'll I will be doing videos with this phone now and I will um, try to get a cover for it there's a wolf cover that I want to get for it so it's really amazing and also I am off today because I have a problem. I I have ingrown toenails. I don't know if anybody's ever had one before, but they suck. And um, I just pulled the nail out of my toe. And that was two days ago, and now it's like throbbing pain. So I can't really walk that well. So I have to go to the doctor and maybe they'll give me something for it. So, yep. So I need to get new shoes for work because I think that's the problem. But anyway, I don't want to make this video any longer. Thank you guys so much for watching and please comment and tell me what you guys think. See you later.